Well, the Green Crane has been standing tall at Newport News Shipbuilding for more than 50 years, but the time has come to say goodbye to this integral part of Newport News Shipbuilding and our skyline. Aaron Pritchett joins us now with more on how this Green Crane is being disassembled. What goes up must come down, but we're not talking about just any old thing as the 5.2 million pound steel structure was once the largest gantry crane of its type in the nation when it was erected back in 1969. And although the 310 long ton Green Goliath gantry crane has served our shipbuilding efforts and most notably the complex refueling and overhaul of everything from the Enterprise CVN 65 to the Nimitz class aircraft carrier fleet well for the last 50 years, extraordinary efforts have been implemented to take down the legendary green giant of Newport News shipbuilding. It's, I don't want to say the backbone, but one of the backbones to the shipyard is, is a very important crane. It's bittersweet. That old lady there has uh, you know, served her purpose and everything like that. And I learned a lot from working on her. And all, you know, it, sad to see it go. It's been a very important to this company for that crane you know, over the years of all the, uh, all the ships that it was part of to build. Change is good. I think it's good for the shipyard. Uh, you grow, and uh, as you grow, sometimes it requires change. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the old girl. going now for about seven years probably at the most and we started with overhaul of the green crane in 2012 to uh, keep its uh, lifespan until we could replace it um, so this project has been ongoing quite quite a long time it is kind of backwards but we had to get one crane up in service to support the incoming carrier uh, get it qualified and built and then uh, now we had to get the old one removed so we can make room for a new one to have full service of the entire dock. We're working with a company called Sarens USA. They're one of the second largest heavy lift companies in the world. It's been challenging. Every day presents new challenges. We've worked on limited space. We've affected the operation of most every waterfront trade in the shipyard. We work with foreign nationals. There's been a lot of people involved. It hasn't been just us. Well, the, the concept of taking the crane down is to build uh, the tower sections that you see behind me. Each of these sections uh, were built and bolted um, and torqued to, uh, to keep them in place. They had to do a lot of ground spreading in there. We got a lot of load going to come down in the dry docks in a, in a small area. So they took a lot of time and effort to make sure that we're not going to damage anything. We're going to keep the shipyard property the way it was. But again, we got to build up from the bottom up. So as you can see, it, it's, we're almost up there. So today what we are doing is we are trying to prep the Stranjak package, which is a package that contains these Stranjaks plus all the cables. The equipment that we have in both the dry docks, they're identical. Uh, they both contain two Stranjak package with four Stranjaks. So each uh, dry dock has a capacity of 1,800 tons. On dry dock 11, we are already finished. We are just uh, trying to finish this uh, beam so we can move uh, 32,400. And once that's done, then we're going to start both dry dock at the same time with the same equipment. Okay, so today is the day that we moved our crane the last 50 feet. Uh, it's the last time this crane will be operated. Uh, Final position is where we will begin to jack it up, lift it from the ground, and start cutting it out from underneath. Come on. At which point it'll start getting shorter and shorter until the end when we put the girder down to the ground. Once we uh, actually take load of the crane under the strand jacks. We only have one chance to do it, because um, once you start, you can't stop, so we have to keep going along with it. Each piece has to be strategically cut. It has to be relocated within a very small footprint that we're working in. 
Uh, we got a lot of things going on, a lot of equipment, a lot of moving parts. We've removed the paint, uh, we've been cutting and burning the pieces uh, in the designated locations to be able to lower the crane um, at certain levels at, at the right time. You know, we had to be able to be able to load them down at the same time so the, the crane would stay balanced and the, the center of gravity would stay within the crane. With removal of the old green crane, it does make way for the new crane, but yes, the old green crane, it does have a lot of history to it. Uh, pretty nostalgic to see if pieces of it go go away. It's, it's great to be a part of this project team um, to uh, take this crane down, but it was also great and rewarding to be part of the project team to build the new crane that's going to replace it. And now that we're, you know, finally starting to cut them and move them down, it, it's like I said, it is bittersweet, but it's also very rewarding to see that all the pre-planning and all the planning up front has uh, is finally coming to fruition. As work continues on this site over the next several weeks to remove the remaining sections of the Green Goliath gantry crane via transporters and eventually onto barges for salvage, Newport News Shipbuilding will then switch gears and prepare dry docks 10 and 11 for the arrival of the next Nimitz class aircraft carrier John C. Stennis CVN-74, which will begin its complex refueling and overhaul in early 2021 and the beginning of the next chapter for the new 315 metric ton Blue Goliath Gantry Crane, which came into service last fall. For Focus NNS, I'm Aaron Pritchett. Back to you, Brian. All right, thank you, Aaron. The end of an era.